is cringy. Oh, so it's cringy. It has to be this way. Yeah. What about the bit off? No. Yeah. What about this way? No. <laughs> and I think I'll leave it this way. No. No. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. When you're working with street hypnosis, it's always important to give your subject a gift right at the end. If you want to understand what I mean, then keep watching and find out. Hi there, it's Tran here from Feel Good Hypnosis and this week we're finishing off with a skit and then bringing the guy that's in hypnosis out of hypnosis and I'm going to talk about the importance of giving a, a gift that's a, an important part of doing street hypnosis because hypnosis is more than just about fun and it's important to thank the person that you've been working with in some way. So in this video, uh, the first or the final skit that I'm doing with this chap is giving him a bit of OCD about his my hat orientation. Uh, as you can see, and an important part of this video, uh, you see it all the time in every sort of suggestion I make. While the person is in the head down trance position, I say nod your head that you understand. And again, you see the, the, the gentleman in this case uh, nodding his head. When people are in that head down position, they're, they're not zoned out so completely, so hypnotically tranced out that that they're taken off to some mysterious land. That's a bit of a misconception that a lot of people think about hypnosis, that, that you're really zoned out and you're somewhere else. You're still there, you're still listening and you can still respond, you can still nod your head uh, that you've heard the suggestion and understand that suggestion and it's important to get that feedback whenever you give a suggestion, just ask the subject nod your head that you understand and that allows you to calibrate his understanding of your suggestion. So we do that little skit, it's a lovely little skit, I, you've seen it before in several videos and I love you know, doing that you know, and I really play with it and you see me giggling away. Again it's a nice skit to do to get feedback from the audience and, and interaction with him, it's a very visual one. Me moving my hat and him sort of grabbing it, moving it back and you can feel the tension of no it has to be this way, no it has to be this way. And, and I love that interaction uh, when I'm doing a skit, it's a, it's a really lovely one and he was a very energetic person to be you know, working with. So after we're finished with that skit, it's a quite nice shot beautiful little short skit but a very interactive skit as I say. After we're finished with that I then decide well I've done two or three skits I'll put links to the other skits I've done with this chap in the uh, card section above but I decide well let's bring him out of hypnosis we've, we've had our time with him and, and other people are standing behind camera you're waiting to be hypnotized as well. Again an important tip there, you know, it'd be fun to, I can, I can work for one hour with an individual subject, but you want to keep your, your interactions with any one person when you're doing a bit of street hypnosis in a crowd environment to maybe 10, 15 minutes at most. So I make the decision to bring him out and I say in a minute I'm going to count from one to five. But during that time you see me say, in a moment you're going to wake up, you're going to feel fantastic, you're going to be really enthusiastic, you're going to feel full of energy, full of life and, and focused on the things you're going to do moving forward. You'll hear that script as it is in the video and, and this is the gift, this is, this is the little extra suggestion right after I've you know, removed all other suggestions, this is the little suggestion that really sinks in uh, and stays with him after the hypnosis is finished. A bit like when I'm do working with therapy, the suggestions don't you only stick during the session. If you're stopping someone from smoking or, or helping people lose weight or even overcoming an anxiety, in the therapeutic setting you're giving suggestions that are going to stick after they've come out of hypnosis. All the sort of routines you've seen to date are really about in entertainment purposes for entertaining while he's in that state. But this last suggestion is going to stay long after he's come out of hypnosis. And you see the results of that. When I say one, two, three, what awake and he comes out of hypnosis, uh, I say, how do you feel? You feel fantastic. You know, so that's again the confirmation that that is sinking in and staying after I've brought all other suggestions out of his mind so that he doesn't have that feeling of OCD about hats and any of the other suggestions I gave him during the street hypnosis routines. So I hope that makes sense, I hope you like that, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you give the video a like and don't forget to click the big red subscribe button and click the bell notification button so you get notified every time a new video comes out from Feel Good Hypnosis. 
it's November here 2020 we're still in the middle of a pandemic here in Northern Ireland we're in the middle of a lockdown we're just starting out in another two-week lockdown so it is important just to remember to stay safe and keep those two meter apart rules and look after yourself and look after others in the process if you have any comments about this video please leave them in the comments section below i really want to hear your comments your feedback on this video and any of the other videos please do leave comments it's important that i understand what you want to see next what you think of this video and i'm really looking forward to your feedback so leave it in the comments section below apart from that well let's check out the street hypnosis and enjoy in a minute, I'm going to count from one to three. In the count of three, you're going to open your eyes. You're going to see me wearing a cap, but you can't stand it when that cap is not straight. You have to correct that cap so it's straight on my head. Not your head. You understand? You'll no longer be following whatever the monkey does. But every time you see me adjusting my hat, you'll just want to adjust it back so it's straight. One, two, three. Open your eyes. Do you like my cap? Yeah. I like it this way. What do you think? No. No. Well, I mean, it's my preference, and I like no. It. No. But what about this way? Do you think this is way better? No. This no. Way. Has to be that way. Yeah. What about the real cool dudes wear it that way? No. No, that's cringy. No. There you go. Are you sure it's not better this way? No. <laughs> what about that? No. no. <laughs> and I could just do this way. No, because that way is cringy. That's it's cringy. Has to be this way. Yeah. What about a bit off? No. Yeah. What about this way? No. <laughs> and I think I'll leave it this way. No. No. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Sleep now. Deeper. Deeper. <laughs> Deeper you go, the more relaxed you feel. In a moment, we're going to count from one to three, and the count to three, you're going to open your eyes and you back them. Back with us. In fact, I'm going to count to five this time, and when I count to five, all hypnotic suggestions will disappear from your mind. All hypnotic suggestions will disappear from your mind. But just as quickly as all those hypnotic suggestions disappear from your mind, you feel really good inside, really full of energy, full of life, full of invigoration. Like you've had a 12 hour sleep, like you've had a 6 hour massage. Really fun, full of life. To so do whatever you want to do for over Q Con for the rest of your life, you're going to feel full of energy and always do your best. So, one, feeling that feeling of hypnosis just disappear from the tips of your toes. Two, washing up through your legs, through your stomach, through your pelvis. Three, take a deep breath in now. Let that energy wash all the way through you now, through your head, and really give you full of life. One, two, three, five. Wide awake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually feel really good after that. You do feel really good. You're a brilliant sorry. Big round of applause, guys. <laughs> Thanks for that. And do you remember everything that happened? Uh, somewhat, yeah. Some of it. Remember all. Why was I dancing? <laughs> Why was he dancing? <laughs> there you go. You're a brilliant subject. Thanks. <laughs>